look at your goals and look at where you want to go. You want to set some high standards for yourself. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. Are you known for that person that, that stand out with what you do? That stand out with your standards, always looking for ways to better your best? You gotta take responsibility for that. Everyone's partying, everyone's slacking off, everyone's negative. You're not everyone. You are a chosen people. Could it be the reason you're not seeing favor is you're being common? Is you've let society squeeze you into its mold? It's time to break out of that mold. You may be surrounded by people that are lazy, not going anywhere. Don't let that keep you from your destiny. You've been set apart. Now do your part and don't live calm. When you dig your heels in, I'm not going to be pressured into compromising, complaining, gossiping. I'm going to be uncommon. I'm going to be a person of excellence. When you make this choice to be uncommon, God will make things happen that you couldn't make happen. It takes courage to not compromise. People will try to make you feel weak because you're not going with the majority. It doesn't take much effort to do what everyone else is doing. A dead fish can float downstream. It takes a live one to swim upstream. All that pressure trying to get you to conform is a sign that God has something amazing in front of you. I will not defile myself by letting these outside pressures convince me into lowering my standards. You may not see it yet, but God has something amazing in front of you. You're not supposed to live and die and nobody knew you were here. You have to be willing to do what others want to do, to resist temptation when others are giving you. Every temptation, every difficulty, God has given you the grace to overcome. Yes, it takes discipline. Your flesh will tell you, give in, do what everyone else is doing. Don't let a temporary period of being uncomfortable keep you from a permanent blessing. When you're being uncommon, don't be distracted by the naysayers. They're making fun of you now, but you don't know one day they may be working for you. Sometimes when people get to where they were trying to go, they forget what got them there. It was the fact that they were uncommon. Once they reach a goal, they start becoming when you refuse to compromise, when you don't take the easy way out, God will do the uncommon. God has uncommon favor in your future. Uncommon relationships, but you have to do your part and be uncommon. When you go against the grain, when you take these steps of faith, don't be surprised if common people tell you how it's not going to happen. You can't start your business. You don't have the experience. Don't believe those lies. You have something on you that they cannot see. Ordinary people would say, the good news is you are uncommon. You have seeds of greatness on the inside. You're going to defeat giants that look bigger. You're going to accomplish dreams that seem impossible. I'm not looking at average people. I see history makers. I see people that are going to leave their mark. Friends, God has not only chosen you, but he has set you apart. Now I'm asking you to do your part and live uncommon. You will have tribulation. Let's say you might, but here's what I can say to you. You are different. You are uncommon. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, an uncommon desire to control your destiny.